the first start on a major league mound for Dustin May in 476 long, lonely days. Hung on and missed strike three. Strike out the side. Hung on and missed strike three. Strike three, fastball, devilish to the knees. Struck out five. Given up no runs and one base hit. Payoff. Got him. Dustin May explodes back onto the scene. Tomorrow is my first start in the big league since May 1st of 2021. Uh, it's been about 15 months and some change, and I'm um, super excited and stoked to, to finally be back with the boys and to get after it through the, the home stretch. I don't really get super anxious or anything like that. It's more of just like a excitement level tomorrow or for tomorrow. So. Um, just trying to stay level head as possible. Mr. Nagin, it's good to see you back. Good to be back. Knowing the fact that tomorrow is my day and that I'm finally going to be activated and get a chance to show everybody what my 15 month rehab process has, has grinded out to be, yeah, I'm very excited for it. Grind falls short of describing Dustin May's last 15 months. Coming out of spring training, having earned a starting spot in the rotation last year, his plan to keep that spot throughout the season jerked to a stop after one particular pitch in the first month of the season. Dustin May winces as he let that pitch go and then immediately waved to the dugout. It definitely felt like somebody just like ripped my elbow open. I definitely knew something was wrong and I definitely knew I couldn't throw another pitch after that. That's when I called the trainers out and bit the bullet and said, hey, I gotta, I gotta come out of this game and uh, the rest is history after that. This is a guy that, you know, is just starting his career. Never been hurt before, and I just, just can only imagine all the things going through his head. Obviously the pain, but what's gonna happen with my career, not even the season, and just all the uncertainties. The diagnosis was a torn ulnar collateral ligament in his pitching elbow. Tommy John surgery was his only option. This isn't the kind of tear that I would trust to just go ahead and put stitches in it and just and take that tissue and repair it down. We'll, we'll repair your torn tissue and supplement it. We'll put, put a graft in to give you extra stuff. That'll all heal together. Okay. And that gives it really, really good strength and support. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Feel a little zing? No. Good. God willing, this will be the hardest thing you ever go through in your career. This is typical for the, for the big time athletes. Once they have something like this happen, they go through a brief period, they're a little upset, a little angry, and then they understand that it, you know this happens as part of the whole thing. Yeah. Once they accept it, they want to they want to go. You've got some really good trainers and therapists around you, so yeah. you know, we'll we'll get you better. For sure. He won't have an entirely normal. Preseason next year, he'll still be in the final stages of rehab. And the threat of not playing, really it's the first time in his life that uh, he'll, he would have to face that. <laughs> Perfect, thank you. Awesome, thank you very much. <laughs> we'll get him going as soon as his wounds heal and, and uh, 
start the rehab process, but I really expect him to have great things in store uh, in the near future in professional baseball and with the Dodgers. Honestly, it was pretty nerve-wracking at the start, just being injured, because I've never really been injured like this before. It's just a really long process. The rehab isn't very hard or invasive on you, but one of the biggest things that people have talked about is just understanding that it's long and not trying to rush yourself back. He's been really dedicated to the process, so it's made it really easy on us. He's been able to take this time to get strong in the weight room with Brian Stoneberg, our strength conditioning coach out here, and it's, it's really been a really good time. Oh, yeah, that First time that happened. <laughs> it's very exciting to look forward, but um, you gotta go through the process to get there. So, I mean, I'm excited to get there and be back, but we gotta take small steps before we can take big steps. That was firm. The throwing is going to take a while, but each day you're going to start moving out a little farther, getting a little stronger throwing, and eventually get on the mound, then throw some YBPs, then go out on some rehab assignments, and then hopefully eventually get back to where I was. Cool. Good. Yeah. All good. Backstage Dodgers is brought to you by Cadillac. Spring has officially sprung in Glendale, Arizona. The full squad reporting to Camelback Ranch today, wasting no time getting to work. It's a much quicker ramp up for the season than the players are used to. When the Dodgers reported to spring training in March, Dustin May had been there for four months, rehabbing his elbow from Tommy John surgery. His teammates worked to progress as quickly as possible through the truncated spring, while May continued his deliberate, steady schedule to meet the goal of returning to the mound in mid-season. The rehab grind was real long, but I was with a good group of guys last year throughout the year, so it made it go kind of smoothly. It's been a long process, a lot, a lot of work and grind coming towards today, and I think it's been paying off slowly but surely, and uh, feeling really good. Looking back at it, there's a lot of small victories and kind of check marks that you're going along the way, whether it being initially getting range of motion back, then moving on to a strengthening phase, and then he goes through that whole progression, kind of building up the amount of days he's throwing per week, the intensity he's throwing with, and then the volume, the amount of throws he's throwing with. Then from there, we move on to his mound progression, which he threw about 20 bullpens in, and that's kind of a building process, adding in all of his pitches along the way. I'd definitely say there was a different feeling uh, not being on the mound in so long. It's kind of getting my feet wet again, and I feel like this is a good starting point where I, where I was today, so um, in a good spot. It was as good as uh, we could have expected. Uh, just really good command. I mean, at this point in time, pretty impressive. He's going to be a weapon, so we're build, we'll build him up to be a starter, and um, as he continues to check boxes and get through his progression, um, having him here in the summer is going to be a big boost. We're getting closer to where we need to be here. Not exactly there yet, but on the right track. The track took him to Oklahoma City. Now 24, May drove there from his home in Texas to make the next stop on his rehab road, a start in AAA. So at this point, how far along he is, and with tomorrow being a game, we're just trying to get him in a good spot. This will be like some soft tissue work, look for any like, tighter bands through his forearm and biceps. And by now, I usually know where his normal spots are. So just running through those and making sure he's in a good spot and ready to go for tomorrow. This last month, like month and a half, two months, 
That's probably like the best that I've felt, like by far. And really going into like the last two weeks, it's been even better. It's good timing. Yeah. It is nice. Yeah, there's so much stuff to do around here. There's no speeding it up. There's only slowing the process down. People get emotional about it. People get irritated with the process, but honestly for me, it was just like, I'm gonna buy into the, to the rehab side of it and just try to come out on the other side as stronger, stronger than I was before. Last one. It's given me a lot of patience and I've really started to realize like who I am as a person. Realized a lot about myself that, that when I put my mind to something, I'm, I'm gonna do it and there's not much that's gonna get in my way and stop me from doing that. Here. Here, take it. Oh, uh-oh, go get it. He said, thank you. I was chewing on that. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a very crazy 24 hours for the both of us, especially with the this little amoeba with us, but um, <laughs> but it's been good. Uh, we're super excited for tomorrow, and we can't we can't wait to get it the ro the ball rolling. Yep, we have I think 30 people coming tomorrow, so yeah, quite we'll be the crew. yeah, it'll be nice to see everyone and uh, enjoy watching Dustin's yeah. first well second rehab start yeah, I guess yeah. if you first, count Arizona. Yeah. <laughs> first one triple A. Dustin May's fiancée, Amelia, has been with him every step of the way throughout the process. Over 15 months, May and the Dodger staff have been responsible for the physical healing it takes to return. Together, Dustin and Amelia work through the mental and emotional grind. I feel like some of the questions that some guys have, it's like, am I going to come back, like, as good as I was before, to where it's like, I never really let that get in my head. Right. Because I was like, I was just telling myself day in and day out, like, I'm going to work as hard as I can and it's going to pay off. Like, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. You ready to go for a walk, bud? Yeah? All right. I achieved my goal of being in the big leagues, but now it's like I have to achieve the next goal of staying in the big leagues as long as I possibly can. So that's why in my mind, I wasn't going to try and cheat the process and get my days shorter. I was like, no, I'm going to buy in and I'm going to be here as long as I need to be and I'm going to get everything done that I possibly can to come out of this on the, the brighter side. And also, like, I think the stress comes from when you're thinking of all of the what ifs, like what if this happens, what if this happens, but we don't know if it's going to happen. So there's no point in kind of dwelling on that what if, stressing yourself out. So I think that's something that kind of got you through as well. You didn't really entertain, oh, this might happen or this might happen. And like, even if it does happen, like- Then we just have to deal with it. Yeah. It's out of your control. <laughs> like that's, that's the card you've been dealt. It's like the same thing with me blowing out my UCL the first time, it was like, that was a card I was dealt. So it was like, all right, it's time to do it. Like, it's full steam ahead now. Dustin May gets the call here for the Oklahoma City Dodgers on rehab. Dustin May coming off Tommy John. Cautious with May here on the rehab assignment. All in two strikes to Dean. Next pitch on the way. Breaking ball is swung out of this for strike three, and that will end the inning. No runs a hit, and two men left as May caps it with his first strikeout. It was very exciting to be back in the stadium. Uh, I didn't really throw that well. I threw a lot of balls, but uh, my body and arm felt good after and during, so that was kind of the biggest thing. May delivers home. Breaking ball is called for strike three. He looks strong. He looks like he's he's focused. He's into it. Only three innings, 45 pitches max. But um, 
told him not to forget about the bread and butter, and that's his sinking fastball, and that's a pitch that he can go bully people with, and that's what we'd like to see from him. Here's the pitch to Calhoun. Swing and a miss through a fastball to end the inning. Likely his final pitch he throws tonight. It's about getting him back to where where he was. And uh, in order to get there, he's got to remember who he was and remember what he is. And I would have liked to have better results out of it, but for me to come out of it healthy and not super sore or hurt after, that was kind of my biggest, like, hurdle step in the thing was, all right, games are, games are a go, like, we're, we're feeling good and we just got to keep building off this. First time since May 1st of last year, Dustin May pitches for the Los Angeles Dodgers. Well, I've already seen what Dustin May looks like from the five or six rehab starts that he's had in the minors, the 20 some innings that he's pitched down there, the dominance that he's shown, including an immaculate inning. So I expect this young man to come back and pretty much dominate right away. As far as pure talent, he's a game changer. I just don't want to be the one to put any undue expectations on him uh, solely on talent. So he's got to go out there and pitch well. Hi. <laughs> Are you crying yet? Yep. <laughs> just started. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. How are you? So at the game tonight, we will have Dustin's dad, Danny, and we'll have his agent, Craig. Danny is definitely going to be crying with me. Um, and Craig, you know what, Craig might also be crying. We're not sure. <laughs> How did Dustin feel? Oh, cool, as a cucumber per usual. Yeah, it's not snuggling Woody, ate some oatmeal. That's totally fine. It's just so crazy. It's literally been 15 months. It seemed like it went by so fast, yeah. I think that's because we just kind of made the best of it and just kind of not enjoyed it, but tried to find the silver lining at least. Heat. It's actually better than the debut. For all the work that he had to put on to come back for the second time, it's mind blowing. Absolutely mind blowing. That's literally exactly what I told him that it's almost better than the debut. Yeah. surreal feeling just being able to tell myself that all right we did it like it's it's go time now taking the breath and like kind of examining the crowd and just seeing seeing all the people that that came out to watch and support it was, it was just more of like a like I made it feeling it's the first start of a major league mound for Dustin May in 476 long lonely days Ooh, okay oh baby Ooh. if I grab your leg I'm sorry Wendell stands in, off we go. Dustin May returns with 98, outside ball one. Home of the 1-1 pitch. Smacked on the ground and through, and a leadoff hit for Joey Wendell. Okay. Leadoff man aboard, and here comes John Birdie. His first strikeout back. Jesus Aguilar. He's got back-to-back keys. -back this one in the fastball. And now the rookie, J.J. Bladé, who made his 
Christmas debut on July 23rd. Four pitch walk. Turn it. Deep breath, 3 0. Now four bases loaded. I just threw eight straight balls, so that wasn't ideal. I mean, I guess in my head, I just, I needed to take two hitters off to get the adrenaline pumping just like a smidge more. Um, no, I'm just, it was, I don't know what happened. It just, it just kind of fell apart for two hitters. There's a strike on Nick Fortes. Maybe the applause will relax him a little bit. The one pitch. Strike two to the knees. Twenty-sixth pitch is a one-two to Nick Fortes. Of, of feelings of like excitement and knowing that I can get out of a situation or a jam that I kind of put my myself into it was it was very exciting and encouraging for the next innings I'm sure Dustin scolded himself a little bit after getting rid of the nerves and saying all right I'm glad I got through that inning but let's pound the strike zone swing and a miss that fastball by Wendell for his fifth K. Payoff. Strike three. Fastball devilish to the knees. Wow. That makes my heart smile. Yeah. <laughs> Got him. Dustin May explodes back onto the scene. Nine strikeouts over five scoreless. Turn for Dustin May was a sparkling one. Five scoreless innings, he strikes out nine. The bullpen does what it's been doing all season long. Four scoreless innings and a shutout win over the Marlins. I'm excited to be back and I'm just glad to get the first one out of the way and know that know that the first one's behind me and that I came out of it healthy and strong ready for my next one. Watching him go through rehab, watching him go through the steps that he took, he don't take a day off. And at the end of the result, to make it real short, to watch what he started at and ended at was probably one of the most amazing things I've ever saw in my life. Yay. Thank you. Good job, baby. I'm Thank so you. proud of you. Good job, good job. Good job, Sunshine. Hi, <laughs> Dad. Thank you, kid. Welcome back. That's good. Thank you. 